Hello, Calvin, a very good morning to you. Unpack these latest developments for us. Good morning to you, Lebu, and good morning to the viewers at home. As you have correctly pointed out, we are here in Soweto, Orlando West, Uncle Tom's Hall to be specific, where a newly formed party, All African Alliance Movement, is going to be launched. I'm not alone here. I'm with the Secretary General of the party, Baba Upishop Mishek Debe. Baba, good morning to you and good morning. Uh, tell us more about the party. Why do you think people of South Africa need to have trust on this one? Thank you. Thank you very much. And good morning to everyone. Good morning to the listeners at home. Good morning to the viewers across. Uh, the point that we are driving home is that uh, why should we be given a chance also to govern this? We're bringing in a package of morals. We're bringing in a package of ethical leadership. We're bringing in a package that will be able to derive and interpret itself positively to the mindset of the people of South Africa in particular. And we also want to bring in a courage of hope and trust. As we, we could see that currently people have lost trust in the current government of the day, whereby they don't trust. I mean, if you take a typical example, you could have seen with the KZN floods what happened where people preferred an NGO above the government to donate or contribute to assist with the, uh, with the damages that were done in the, in the KZN. And that proves that people have lost interest in the government of the day. And AAAM comes in as a hope and a solution to the problems that are facing the, the people of South Africa, in particular on issues that ranges from crime, gender, foreigners, and then education, a whole package, even the health system, they need to be overhauled. And this is where we are coming in from. So we're looking at a number of contributing factors whereby we will be able to say that these people are need changes here and there. Even our police, they need to be capacitated. They need to be given more powers to deal with issues of crime. But not only having said that, we also wanted to make it very clear that we want a direct approach of democracy. In other words, a direct democracy means that people can be able to reach the government and the government can be able to respond to the needs of the people. Currently, we don't see that happening, and that is where we are lacking. So we, we want to build a state whereby people will be more happy to be in the country compared to people being stra stranded elsewhere. And then we also want to bring in a system that begins to respond to the people that comes from the universities, people that comes from the colleges so that they begin to find the work within the Republic of South Africa. The unemployment rate is unacceptable in the country at the moment as it stands. And these are what the AAAM is going to address and fix them to say that, no, 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 no. You could look at the trends. Before 1994, we had a huge number of army, but by now, the army personnel has decreased. The same with SAPS. The correctional services is overcrowded. So all these things, they make people now to begin to understand that, no, the country is going nowhere. So we need to change the direction of the country. One would say there are bigger kids on the block, your IFP, your ANC, your Democratic Alliance and other political parties. Why do you think your Triple M stands a good chance? Um, Look, uh, let us be realistic. These political parties have reached the ceiling. They no longer become relevant to the challenges of the South African people today. And why AAAM comes in? It comes in with a fresh mandate. It comes in with fresh approaches. It comes in with a fresh hope. Uh, you would look at all of the political parties that we have counted. They have reached their destination. In other words, they have reached the end. They no longer have got new ideas coming in. So we need people that can say that now, look, this is not what we are going to do. We are going to do something different now. And this is not what we want. And this is how we want it to be done. And that is exactly what AAAM is going to offer. I just want to ask you a fair question. Now we are approaching 2024 elections less than a year or two. Do you think you have enough infrastructure and capacity to garner needed support? Yes, quite correctly. We have already done that. Our ground forces are busy wherever, across the nine provinces that we have. We even have a stronger base in the Western Cape. We even have a stronger base in Northwest. We've got a stronger base all over the country. The thing is uh, that we are also calculating on our moves and our times. But you will see, uh, out of this today's launch, as we move to provinces by provinces, you'll begin to see the swelling of the numbers at our events. And then we'll be able to say that we are in charge. And absolutely, we will be number one 
one or number two in the country. We are not going to go less than that. Let's talk about the former Chief Justice Mkhweng. Mkhweng, we are endorsing him as your president. Tell our viewers at home, why did you decide to endorse the former Chief Justice, the, head of our, the former head of our judiciary, to be the head of your party? Let us be quite be frank and be very clear. Uh, South Africa wanted a, a very different person that is not uh, tainted in the image of corruption. And uh, we looked all over the place. We approached a number of people even before him. But what struck our attention to, uh, to former CJ was that his ability to deal precisely with issues related to, to corruption. Attempts to bribe him, attempts to do all these things are all in the social media by now, and he refused. So we took a stance to say that we need a man that is very noble, we need a man that is God-fearing, we need a man that is able to present himself without fear or favor. As you have said that he is God-fearing, we are talking about someone who is God-fearing, religious belief and judiciary experience. Do you think that will take you to greater heights in terms of politics now? Absolutely, absolutely. He has the integrity, he has the qualities, he has the abilities, and he understands the rules of the country, and he understands the values and the norms of the South African society at large. And that is all what the doctor has ordered. So we've got no other prescription other than him. That is how. Thank you. I can see you are a very busy person. Thank you very much for your time. I have to release you. Thank you very much. And thanks to the viewers at home. And thank to everyone. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. That was Baba Bishop Umishek Debe, who is the Secretary General of AAAM, a party that is going to be launched today. Uh, they are endorsing the former uh, Baba U. They are, they, 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 what they are doing now, they are endorsing Ubaba Umkhweng Umkhweng as their president. I can tell you now that there are controversial statements that were done by Umkhweng Umkhweng, including that the COVID-19 vaccine was evil. There are those who are criticizing him, Lebu. They are saying that Umkhweng Umkhweng is gender-based violence insensitive. My question is, how is he going to approach those people? Because he needs to garner support for the party. But now he is not here. I was told that he is fasting. He is praying for everything that is happening here to be a success. We are going to wait and see if he's going to come. If he is coming, we will try by all means to talk to him. Back to you in studio. Calvin, thank you very much there for your update.